Now, Ghana has an estimated 0.805% of COVID-19 infection rate on a weekly basis. This is according to researchers in statistics, biostatistics, and epidemiologists at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology. They have suggested the country begins daily testing for the virus to pave way for daily updates. Benjamin Edu reports. Ghana had so far conducted over 130,000 COVID-19 tests with a backlog of more than 1,000 samples awaiting testing at the Kumasi Center for Collaborative Research in Tropical Medicine. The Noguchi Memorial Institute for Medical Research, however, had no backlog. Dr. Nana Kena Frimpon at the Statistics and Actuarial Science Department of the KNUST said once the backlog of cases is cleared, test results can be provided within 24 hours. When it comes to tracking and uh, tracing and testing, um, it was Noguchi that I, I read a report saying that they have actually cleared or the backlog, so henceforth they, actually, they can actually do a real-time testing, which is very fantastic and good for us to get much more information about the growth of the epidemic or the care. Dr. Frimpon called for the establishment of more testing centers in the country. He also spoke on the country's recovery rate. By WHO protocol, you have to do double testing before a person is actually cleared of the, the virus. So after going through the first testing, it takes a lot of days for the second testing to done. At the same time, it is the same uh, resources and infrastructure that we have to do the new cases testing. So they cannot, I'm seeing that they cannot do it simultaneously. So it's some kind of a lag that is causing these recovery rate numbers not to uh, go high as, as compared to the number of cases.